And then uh, we have here given two moles, temperature, standard temperature, zero degree Celsius. Our standard pressure is one atmosphere. We have here the values of our R. We are to use the, at we have to uh, relate it to atmosphere. Or if we do not want to relate it in, uh, in terms of atmosphere in Kelvin and in mole, no, we could actually uh, just uh, convert it using the link that I have provided, no? To you. So basically, we have here the ideal gas equations. So we are asked to find for the volume. So um, just a short manipulation of the uh, ideal gas equations. We have here volume, just trans or just divide both sides by the pressure. You can find the this formula V is equivalent to um, the a number of moles of a gas multiplied by the gas constant multiplied by the absolute temperature of a gas divided by its pressure. So we are given as two moles, and then as you can uh, see here, actually, no, um, the gas constants or the R that we have used is this one, no. So liter atmosphere mole divided by mole Kelvin. So the mole part could be cancelled in it, no. And then, uh, similarly, the atmosphere part will be cancelled to it. And then, conversion for temperature to convert it into Kelvin will cancel. And then, uh, our uh, our answer. And then, uh, next one is the, uh, our remaining now is actually in this liter part. So, the volume now is actually 44.8 liters so the main key uh, the key here is actually to uh, for in order for you to understand is the you should know that the pressure the standard pressure is of a gas is one atmosphere and, and the standard temperature is zero degrees so for our sample problem number two we are asked to find for the density of a nitrogen gas and two at 300 tor in the 20 at in no so as you can see here we have here the conversion for tor we can actually use this one or you can actually convert a 300 tor to any of these units no if you want to um using the ideal gas equations again we are asked to find for the density and then in order to find for the density we should relate it into the density formula which is mass over volume and then we have here the con uh, we all know that mass is equivalent to the a uh, molar mass multiplied by the number of moles so when we say molar mass so from the given is actually it is uh, nitrogen so we have to find for the atomic weight of the nitrogen now which is actually 14 no 14 grams per mole in order to find for the mass itself and then uh, just manipulation of the uh, formulas and then just substituting the mass for this part and then we can actually find that density is equivalent to the molar mass multiplied by the number of moles of a gas divided by v and then as you can see here uh, the density has been moved over m this has been uh, divided by m no that remains to nv we are just actually manipulating the ideal gas equation in order for us to find for the density of the uh, provided no or and uh, from that we have here the relationship between a uh, density over molar mass is equivalent to the number of moles divided by the a uh, volume of the gas no and then uh, as you can see here just um just manipulating the value of n here so n is equivalent to pv over rt just plugging in n with this part so we can actually um know the value of p over rt the v part in this part and this part will cancel out so therefore density over the molar mass is equivalent to p over rt no, and then as you can see here, uh, density M, density M is, is the same. So we can relate N over V is equivalent to P over RT uh, with the following use. However, uh, on the given problem, no, 
However, on the given um, problem, we are given only the molar mass, which is which can be uh, calculated using the atomic weight of nitrogen. And then from that, um, N over B, just moving in on with this part, no, again, no, N over B with this part, so we could actually relate that one, and then just multiplying M to this part, no, M to that part, you can actually see here, just if you want to know that they have the same, no, just plug in, the, in this one, you could actually uh, manipulate the equation, rho over M, rho over M is equivalent to uh, P over RT, no? that yields to this part. So this equation is our underlying equation uh, in order to solve the problem number 2. No? So uh, from the given, we could actually use the values of R provided here. However, I will make it a point that uh, we could actually... If you want only to memorize this one, you could do so. No, you could want to memorize only to this one, you could do so. No, uh, anything on this four, and then uh, depending on the given problem, no, if the value of r is given, no, um, you could actually use that one. So the main point here is actually you can use 62.364 liter tor over mole kelvin, or just stick to only one value of r in your mind and then uh, just try to uh, convert it no so this conversion factor is on the link on the uh, provided pdf on these slides so uh, one atmosphere is equivalent to 760 tor no? so that arise to the conversion of the values which is in this uh, on the first uh, row no and then uh, for our molar mass, since we have the atomic weight of nitrogen, which is 14, we have subscript of 2, so times 2. No? And then uh, using that, using this one, no? liter atmosphere and then the temperature, 20 degrees Celsius, converting it into Kelvin. So atmos uh, tor will be canceling out, canceled out, mole to this one. No? And then Kelvin also. The remaining is grams per mole, that is a unit for uh, density, which is mass over volume. So that is equivalent to 0.46 grams per. So for our sample problem number three, it is planned to lift and move logs from almost inaccessible forest areas by means of balloons. No, So helium of the standard temp atmospheric pressure and uh, uh, temperature 30 degrees Celsius is to be used in the balloons. What minimum balloon diameter will be required for the gross lifting force of 25 metric tons? So we are to actually lift a 25 metric tons lug now using only balloons on a forest. Now using the following values of our And uh, from that, we have here the following given based on the um, problem, no? So, one atmosphere, let us convert it into Pascal, no? From, so, one atmosphere is equivalent to 101,325 uh, Pascal. And then from Pascal, we must convert it into the fundamental SI unit, which is Newton per meter squared. Then we have here the given temperature as 30 degrees Celsius plus 273. That equates to 303 Kelvin. And then as you can see here, here is the uh, equilibrium equations or the equilibrium diagram uh, for our lag. No? So the metric tons is from 25,000 um, kilogram. No? So 25 metric tons tons is actually equivalent to um, one metric ton is actually equivalent to 1000 kilogram so the this one is can been converted to um, metric ton no from kilo from metric ton to kilogram so this is the underlying equations or the equations of the uh, equilibrium no so the weight of the lug is actually 25 Tons multiplied by 1 ton equivalent to 1,000 kilogram multiplied by the gravity. So we could actually use a 25 kilogram G or gravity. And then our summation of forces along y-axis, uh, we have here um, M of air, G, or the gravity, M of the mass of the helium, 
plus 25 kilogram multiply by the gravity. We could actually cancel out both sides by dividing both sides by the gravity, which yields to our underlying equation, which is mass of air is equivalent to mass of the helium plus 25,000. Now, in order to find for the volume, uh, we have to, uh, in order to find for the diameter of the following uh, balloon, we need to relate it into volume. No? We all know that volume is equivalent to 4 thirds pi r cube. And then uh, from r, we can actually solve for the uh, diameter by multiplying it by 2. So twice of r is equivalent to diameter. And uh, we did our ideal gas law. So you can see here is our underlying equation based on the equations of equilibrium. Here is our R for air. So you can see here, we have here the mass. However, ideal gas equation is on number of moles. And then as you can see here, it is not in mole. No, it is in kilogram. So therefore, the conversion from um, number of moles into mass is here. No, And then we could actually rewrite the ideal gas equations into in terms of mass, no? mass of the gas, as PV is equivalent to MRT. Then, manipulating um, this one, mass is equivalent to PV over RT. Uh, the pressure of the air, which is equivalent to 101, uh, uh, 101 or 1,325 uh, 1, newton meter squared, that is the uh, pressure multiplied by the volume of the balloon, that is equivalent to meter cube R of air, which is 287.08 joules per kilogram. Joules now, in the base uh, SI system, is equivalent to Newton meter and 303 Kelvin. So from that, this one will cancel out and then will remain only meter with this one. Newton meter on the numerator side can cancel this one, this side, and then Kelvin will cancel and then this one will be uh, reciprocated on the numerator. So therefore, our mass of air is equivalent to 1.16485 uh, V of the balloon, no? in terms of V. And then after the actually, we will need to solve for the mass of air in terms of V, mass of helium in terms of V, we can now find for the volume. And here is our, again our darling equation. And the gas constant for helium is uh, 2000, no? 2077.67. And then uh, manipulating the equation again uh, from our pressure, we have here same pressure as air uh, volume. We have uh, only changes in the uh, gas constant for R. Our temperature is provided. Now, uh, same will cancel out, and then our equation, uh, our uh, mass for helium is 0 0.16, 0 0.95 of the volume of our the balloon. And now we can now actually input that one, and then from our, what we have solved, the mass of air, uh, no, the mass of air is 1.16485, and this one has been computed. Solving for V, no, yields to the 24. that no um we need to solve using the um spherical no volume of the sphere is four thirds over pi r cube and then solving that one so substituting the volume of the balloon that we have computed as 24,903 meter cube solving for r uh cube root no our value now is 18.11 meters so twice of r is the diameter so the required the minimum diameter for in order for us to lift the 25 the metric tons of lag is 36.20. So uh, were our learning objectives met? So we have discussed about um, thermal properties uh, of uh, matter and ideal gas law. And then we have described the heat capacity, thermal expansion, thermal conductivity, and the thermal stresses. And then we have said under uh, heat capacity that it actually um, smaller heat capacity uh, can be used for uh, cooking. No, uh, the pan in it or the in, a, in the kettle, the aluminum part has a low specific heat capacity, so it could be heated faster. So 
and then uh, with the high specific heat capacity, uh, we have said that it can be used as an insulator, no? and then we could handle the kettle in itself. No? And then we have discussed about the uh, thermal expansion. It is the changes in uh, length and uh, width and a volume of material with a change uh, with respect to the change in temperature uh, with respect to thermal conductivity we have said that it is the measure of the ability of a material to conduct heat in it and then with regards to the thermal stress it is the stress of material experienced by a material due to the thermal expansion and contraction of the material itself no and then we have examined also Boyle's law charles law avogadro's law and a monton's law and uh, with respect to Boyle's law it relates the relationship between the it, re, uh, it relates the inverse relationship between uh, pressure and uh, volume uh, with regards to charles law it describes the direct proportionality relationship uh, between volume and temperature with respect to uh, Avogadro's law, it relates the uh, amount of gas in, no, so the number of gas with respect to volume. And then for the Amonton's law, um, it relates the pressure directly, direct proportional uh, for the pressure with respect to temperature. Then we have also evaluated problems, uh, three problems pertaining ideal gas loss. So the first one is to describe the uh, concept on standard temperature and pressure, STP. Uh, second one is to re reinforce the ideal gas concepts. And then uh, third one is um, on the concept of uh, conversion from the ideal gas law with respect to N or the number of moles into Uh, for your lesson and activities, uh, you will be asked to find for the volume of um, the volume on uh, material on Venus. No, so if certain amount of ideal gas occupies volume at STP on Earth, what will be its volume uh, on Venus? No, when our temperature is 1,100 degrees. Similarly, you will be asked also to find for the volume. Uh, when 10 grams of oxygen and 2 grams of chlorine are mixed in a container with pressure of 500 atmosphere. And, uh, and uh, for your last lesson and activities, also for finding for the volume of the vessel B. Now, so two vessels A and B uh, of different sizes are connected by a pipe. With a valve. So vessel A contains 145 liters of air at 2,800 kilopascal, 95 degrees Celsius. Uh, vessel B of unknown volume, also you will be finding for the volume of the vessel B, contains at 70 kilopascal at 500 degrees Celsius. So when the valve opened, no, so it is found that we have here the uh, the mix, no, mix pressure of 1,400 kilopascal, and the mix temperature is 445 uh, degrees Celsius. So find for the volume at uh, vessel B when the valve is open on the both of the vessels. So this formally ends our presentation for today. Uh, thank you and have a good day.